Hey all. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at a Linux distribution called Sabian. Uh, it's Gen 2 based, uh, but it has uh, more of a graphical uh, installer and uh, graphical uh, database for uh, applications. You scroll down the page here. It's uh, Sabian 11. I think it was recently released on the 15th, according to this. It's at kernel 3.7, and you can get different uh, flavors, uh, GNOME, KDE, and uh, XFCE, and Mate. Um, it's a rolling release, as it says here. And new packages. And they have uh, Xbox Media Center 12. XBMC, sorry, I should call it now. Uh, Steam, which is in the repositories now. And uh, both architectures, uh, 64 and 32-bit. Uh, this is their uh, package installer interface. And it just uh, advises you, you know, which what you should choose, 64-bit or 32-bit, and what kind of uh, desktop environment you want. And um, you can, here's where the, the, the suffix is... Uh, underscore capital G dot ISO for GNOME and then capital K etc for KDE and so on. I've elected to download the XFC version uh, not because I don't like the other ones or anything like that it's just uh, it's 1.6 or so gigabytes to download so it's a pretty much a full-blown installation. Uh, the other ones uh, GNOME and KDE are much larger. So I'm going to uh, go through the process of installing it in uh, VirtualBox and we'll take a look at uh, Sabian. Okay, so we have the VirtualBox uh, Manager open, so we'll click New as usual. Uh, we'll just call it Sabian. And it's Gen 2 based, so it picked that up, but it, uh, we're using 64 bit. So it'll be Gen 2 64 or Sabian 64. I'm going to give it uh, 4 gigabytes of memory. And when we get next to uh, 30, oops, not 90, uh, where are we here? 30 gigabytes of uh, virtual hard drive space. Create. And we're set, but I'm going to go into settings. Display, I'm going to crank, not that, sorry, system, I'm going to give that. I have six cores, so I'm going to give it two cores. Uh, display, there we go, I'm going to crank that up to the fullest I can, which is 128 megabytes. And storage, let's click on empty here, and we'll choose this one, Sabian Linux 11 AMD XFCE ISO. And hit OK and press start. Okay, uh, oh, 10 second countdown. So uh, let's take a look at it. So we'll start it up. Okay, here we are at the desktop. It looks very familiar. If you used XFCE before, uh, I have to scroll down. At the bottom is like a power menu to log out, shut down, etc. And desktop icons uh, have previews when you hover. And the application menu is at the top here. And it's like a tree-based menu. And I get the impression that this is what it will install when uh, the system is installed on the hard drive. Uh, Midori, that's uh, obviously a web browser. You have Pigeon, Transmission, XChat. Graphics, uh, GIMP, and Sleeper, Office Draw, and Restrito, Image Viewer, and so on. And, okay. There should be something else over here. That's Internet, and it says Wired. So, next, uh, install to the hard drive. So, you just double-click this. We 
make sure you choose your language when this comes up. And if you need extra language language packs, make sure you check that. And Asian font support, etc. So I'm going to hit next. And the keyboard, default keyboard is US English. Uh, basic storage device, that's what we're going to use. Um, we're not going to use uh, networking or anything like that. So hit next. Finding storage devices. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I've seen this before. You just reinitialize all here. And we'll just leave that the way it is. Firewall, that's fine. Let's go with defaults here. Uh, that's good enough. Password for your root. Doesn't have to be very uh, strong here because uh, it's just a virtual box. So. Uh, here, though, it has to be at least six characters. So you can't have, like, password. I mean, you can't have, like, pass or something. It, uh, we'll say, no, you can't do that. Okay, uh, replace. We don't have a system. We can't replace. We're not going to shrink or, we'll just use all space. Uh, review them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, extension four. That's the pretty much the going thing nowadays. <laughs> that's fine. Hit next. Format. Write changes. And it's just conf confirmation there. Uh, bootloader. Uh, we only have one device, one hard drive, so obviously it'd be SDA, but if you were selling this on your main system and be, and you had another hard drive or something, and you wanted just to boot from that, it'd be SDC or D or whatever. So we're going to leave that the same and hit next. And now it's installing. Uh, no, this is not a question and, uh, multiple choice. This is actually the install menu. So I'll be back when this is ready to go. Okay, uh, here we are at the uh, boot screen. Uh, it's Grub 2, GNU Grub 2.0. Um, scroll down here. It's the usual thing, E to edit, to add something to the uh, kernel command. So we'll just press Enter at the first option here. And if you use Linux before, you, you know all this stuff. And uh, we're at the login prompt, and you just type in your user. We can leave everything as default because we only chose one desktop environment and uh, one language. So uh, your username that you made and your password, of course. And uh, the desktop should load, hopefully. There we go. This is out of the box. Wow, okay. By all appearances, uh, when that uh, screen just changed, it looked like it installed the uh, VirtualBox additions. And this is different. I've never seen this before. Is uh, It's opening up the uh, Midori web browser to its home page, which is great. It gives you, you know, a rundown of what's going on. And it's the same page we were looking at. I should mention, too, uh, the wiki is uh, helpful. It it gives you a visual um, installation guide as well. And you have an option to install via command line just like you would in, in Gentoo. Um, and words like uh, portage and emerge and all that. Uh, if you use Gentoo before, you'd be familiar with that. Okay, so enough of that. Um, this is the application browser. Okay, repositories should be downloaded update now. Yes. Okay, and it gives me a little balloon tip up here, which I can close. That's XFC-based uh, stuff. And uh, I think if you click here, yeah, it'll show you the command prompt and what it's downloading and running packages. So I'll, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, is Sabian updates available? There are 20 updates available. So 
Uh, this, <laughs> okay, I'm just laughing at the, uh, what is, stop annoying me, or seriously stop annoying me. Um, so, first one, it says two notices. Oh, yeah. Important AMD GPU graphics card. Um, changes to, related to uh, 3.6 plus kernel. If you read this, I guess, on the form, I imagine on a on your system, if you're using an AMD graphics card, on your main system, um, you'll have to update this manually, the kernel. I don't think they ask you to update that through there. I'm not sure. So I'll just put stop annoying me here. And let me see show. Okay, so these are the updates, 28 as they mentioned. Okay, so we'll just uh, update and accept for just accept because I'm just using this. And it says root password here, so not your user, the root one you made when you first installed this. System up upgrade in process. And the show me gives you the command line again. And, uh, Again, I'll be back when this is finished doing its thing. Okay, we've uh, upgraded successfully. Um, you can say, okay, thanks, or show me. So let's, uh, okay, it's showing you here. Okay, command line. Uh, can you type exit? No, you can't. Let's say, okay, so you say, okay, thanks. Okay, close that, and just a quick look. Home folder uh, does the usual uh, defaults for documents, downloads, music, pictures, etc., videos, and your file system, your desktop, and trash, and browse network. There's nothing to browse. Close that. Um, desktop settings, icons. I'm not a, a big fan of desktop icons. Show thumbnails, okay, menus, background, okay, one background, that's, that's fine. Can I move these? Yes, you can move them to the trash, yep, okay. Okay, let's go back to that um, application browser, and I was going to look for GNOME system monitor. GNOME... E GNOME, whatever you want, system on it. There it is. More information. Wow, that's good. Rating is not available. Uh, install here. And it shows you the dependent. Wow, the flags. So it pretty much shows you everything it's going to need. So I'm going to hit install. Confirm. Again, your root password. So the, the uh, application um, browser, I guess, uh, it's pretty straightforward to install. I mean, to install from. And uh, it's done. Say, okay, thanks. We'll close this back down. And oops, wrong button. Uh, let's do this again. System. System monitor. That's a GNOME. And it works no problem. Notice, too, uh, there is compositing turned on. As I um, you can see the window in the background, it's uh, a little transparent. I guess you you probably adjust that. Uh, file system. Yeah, look at that. Five point three gigs. Not a lot in terms of today's systems, but it's a lot in uh, what I'm used to. <laughs> I usually go really minimal, but this is really really nice. Uh, six. 600 so megabytes. Uh, I noticed it uh, allocated a six gigabyte uh, swap partition. So personally, I would have done something different. Uh, probably would have had a separate uh, home directory at least, and maybe a different uh, file system depending. 
how much space I have. And this pretty much is, if you use GNOME, GNOME uh, 2, you would uh, be familiar with this. You can add stuff. You can customize it. Properties. You show the frame. Uh, show the actual time. I mean, the actual show the t uh, 12 hour clock. Tool tip. Yeah, it tells you the date. So I think that pretty much covers installing. This is the application finder. So you get the idea. So it comes packed with, like I said, a lot of stuff. It even has uh, wine pre-installed with uh, the glorious notepad from Windows and your office applications. Uh, I guess an audio mixer, XFCE mixer, audio player, video player. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, all I could say. Um, nice distribution. Um, it's really up to date. So yeah, it's, so if you're interested in trying Gen 2 and getting familiar with the jargon and how the system works, uh, Sabian is uh, probably the way to go just to get your feet wet and stuff. Okay, so that's, that's it for this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.